We don't even want it. If every single ally in the world died right now to black people, our liberation would probably be easier. I'm not lying, that's literally just it because white allies usually can never separate themselves from white supremacy and they end up perpetuating it and their allyship is conditional. So like at this point, I don't really care. And then two, if, if you say some shit like, oh one, like George Floyd, I'm so glad that you sacrificed your life for us. This speaks into how dehumanized black people are and how socially dead black people are, right? How fucking socially dead we are. That we are seen as the sacrificial li lambs for white people. We are seen as the chess pieces in their game of white supremacy. We are seen as trinkets and objects. I have said this before and I'll say it again. George Floyd really died for nothing. That man did not have to die. He did not die for BLM. He did not die for black liberation. He died for no reason at the hands of a racist man. That's literally it. There is no explaining. There is no trying to put like a good connotation on it. There is no trying to fetishize and trying to, you know, like sparkly up what happened. That is how he died. Justice, George Floyd's life is not something he gave in exchange for white people to realize that there is something wrong with this country. Like I really genuinely am sorry that you got to live all of your life not knowing that black Americans and black people worldwide suffer under psychological and physical warfare at the hands of white supremacy and that it took a man fucking brutally dying live in front of you black death that you had to watch on camera for you to realize that we're fucking people and we experience racism that you don't do but george floyd is not your fucking jesus all right he didn't die for your white sins and he did not die for any fucking type of justice justice like what tell me right now tell me what type of justice guys what type of justice involves a dead black man and his racist killer still alive? Like that is a very weird type of justice that I've heard. George Floyd will never receive justice and I'm just happy that his family could at least receive it. Justice would be George Floyd still alive to play with his daughter, to talk to his family, to talk to his girlfriend. That would be justice. There is no explaining or trying to justify his death either on the right or the left. There is no George Floyd died for this, so we must do this in George Floyd's name. No, George Floyd died for nothing. The only thing we must do in George Floyd's name is continue to fight so that this shit doesn't happen again. And it will happen again. It's already happened again. It's been less than 24 hours and a 15 year old girl was shot four times. So it's already fucking happening. Like, like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, and one, we need to get, I think Aaron said this, but we need to get like this flawed, oh, finally justice, finally it showed that the system worked. No! Do you want to know, this was not the hands of the jurors, you know. This verdict is a direct result of the rioting, of the burning, of the wailing, of the screaming, of black Americans being tired. That's what this verdict is a direct result of. Nothing else. This verdict is not even, like... Everyone knows by now, at least if you're black, you know that that verdict, 90% sure, was issued because if it wasn't, America would go into mass civil unrest like it had never seen before. With that tolls in the hundreds. We all know that. So the rioting is not going to stop. You don't get to issue one little verdict and, and it satiates and placates us. Because for every one Derek Chauvin, there are thousands of... of there are thousands of them. For every one jail, there are thousands of innocent, or uh, thousands of murderers walking free with innocent black people dead. That's like, yes, I saw Nancy Pelosi. Like, this is not the fucking Hunger Games, bitch. Oops. Like, this is not the Hunger Games. Like, you don't die for, um, like, George Floyd did not die. Uh, like as a sacrifice for a society to continue and like the mayor of the city saying that George Floyd died to better our city like is George Floyd like your monetary exchange like he gave his life and you in return get a better city like that's so grimy that's unironically just so dirty like that's why I said if you're not black like your best bet really is to just not speak on this issue like at all like at all because you probably will end up saying some messed up stuff like that's just yeah you can retweet and post things that a black person said that should be fine 
and on top of that tiktok is also suppressing views right now like all of my black mutuals every video we tried to post about this is probably being suppressed because they fear contributing to civil unrest but i don't care like honestly i do hope that they that this country goes up in ashes like that's literally my hope hey guys like that won't even be retribution enough bro like do you know how many cases i w watched as a little black child where just like this case we saw the person get murdered broad daylight videos of them getting murdered and the killer walked off scot-free getting to live their like nice little police pension night life and free donuts at dunkin donuts every friday like like i will not stop until like every single person is avenged and then some like like the only thing this is proven the only thing that this is proven to us is that our methods work and that's why right wingers on twitter are scared right now saying oh you've you've given the kid who's throwing tantrum candy no y'all are the ones who showed us that doing what you asked did not work y'all are acting like people didn't have peaceful protests for 50 plus years up until the 90s like I, I i really don't know what's clicking so yes people will continue to write and i'm sorry it's your fault it, it literally is on the fault of you because the difference between this and a kid um who is throwing a tantrum is the kid is throwing a tantrum for no reason the kid is throwing a tantrum for some small reason black people are rioting because you're killing them and instead of getting the, giving them justice you're giving them candy and telling them suck on this and be quiet that's the comparison it is not it's not a tantrum it is you poked them you poked us 70 times 70 times 70 times and then when we reacted you like oh it's just a poke it's just a poke why are you getting mad that's why like this country deserves to like up in ashes like literally like this verdict is 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 literally on the rioters and the rioters alone i hope that they're proud because this is their work because no one is going to sit up here and pretend like if george floyd's case did not get to the level of notoriety that it did and the amount of media attention it did and it sparked a huge ass movement that we're not gonna pretend like derek chauvin wouldn't be walking free right now shopping in walmart like that's just not what we're gonna pretend because that's literally what have been happening like i like at this point like i i don't have it in me anymore to reason and baby and be a mammy and be a nanny to non-black people like we we've gone through this for hundreds of years you know how to not be stupid and, and when and like when you're being stupid like you know by now so when i snap on you that's just that like unironically like i i am so thankful to those writers and let me just say right now call it insensitive or otherwise i don't care that any small business is burnt down because justice was served not even justice was served because it has proof like like people forget that in the fiery summers of 1968 that washington dc went up in flames and that's one of the only reasons that the further civil rights acts were signed literally like like i'm sorry like your property it's not as valuable as a life. Like I said, this is not an exchange. You can't put value on a life. You can't quantify the worth of a life. I'm very sorry. And I've also wanted to be talking on this, right? People think violence is only good when it's state ordained because the state does have a monopoly on violence. But the thing is, there are two different sides of violence. There is the violence of the colonizer and the violence of the colonized. The violence of the colonizer is used to subjugate to pe the people, to keep us oppressed. And we are used to it, so we accept it. Like, it is something that happens every day, because it is something that happens every day. The violence of the colonized... This song is gonna make me cry. The violence of the colonized is to liberate. That's literally it. You take the tool that the oppressor used to colonize you, and you beat the oppressor with it like that's literally it like i'm sorry we cannot kumbaya ourselves like 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 only an insane person thinks that it took the gentrification the genocide the cannibalism the horrible depraved disgusting acts committed against black people to get us into a state of social death and colonization only a insane person thinks that we will sit here and kumbaya our way out of it i'm sorry 
that's not gonna happen like in what world is that plausible and we have been indoctrinated like we have been told you don't fight fire with fire martin luther king you know peace that is not worth for how well has that worked for us like it's been proven time and time again that you only listen when we're violent so obviously we're going to be violent if that's what it gets you to listen like it, it's it's simple pendas it's simple you you switch the equation around and it works two plus three is five three plus two is five okay like it's literally like anyways guys i'm getting off live because i'm about to cry because of to pimp a butterfly playing in the back but yeah